Okay, so you should now have a nice stack of boxes. Um, this one's mine, I'll have a little look around it so you can see what I've done. So there you go, I'm sure you will agree that is definitely the sexiest stack of boxes you've ever seen. Um, the next step then is to create some pillars um, that are hopefully going to look a little bit like they're holding the ceiling um, of the room up. So the first thing we're going to do is just reset the home view so that your back wall is going to be the same as my back wall um, so that the little trick that we're going to do to create copies of one of the pillars will work as expected. So what we're going to do is create a cube so I'm just going to click on cube from the shelf I'm going to create the base to be sort of rectangular like that and then I'm just going to pull that up so it's nice and tall and then I'm just going to drop it through the floor a little bit okay and then I'm going to push it through this wall over here and then I'm going to move it into the back corner like that okay now to just make it look a little bit more architecturally interesting I'm going to just add a little bit of a rotate to it uh, like that so that inside the room it should just look like that okay so that's what we're going for that kind of effect so if you reset your home view at this point you should have um, your pillar just about there so what we need to do next is to create some copies of that shape along this wall which is um, nice and easy to do so we're going to make sure we've got it selected which it is, click on edit, uh, click on edit which lives here and then I'm going to click on the box to the right of duplicate special which is this little chapter here and this opens up a box that gives us a lot more options when we're going to duplicate something um, and I'm going to start by saying that I want four copies of this, that's going to give me five in total so there we go and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a value to every single duplication to each copy I'm going to add a new value and that is going to be that it's going to move five on the x-axis so translate is how we move things these boxes always go in alphabetical order so it's x y z so on the x-axis I'm going to change that number to five and then when I click on apply one, two, three, four, five, all in a nice line, all looking nice and sexy. Okay, and I'm just going to close that box. So then when we get a nice sort of view of the interior of the room, it's starting to look a lot more interesting. Um, that's the end of that step. Well done.